Down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside. I spent many years sitting down here by the riverside. I would climb down onto that tree down there, climb way down, and I would lean against it. There was another one way down there that's almost straight out over the water. I would lie on that, lean on it, and I would do my studies, do my homework down here. My dad used to walk the dog down here every day. And before my mom was handicapped, she was she would walk down here too. And they would sit and they would watch the birds and sit quietly and listen to the ducks. Sometimes they'd see ducks down on the edge, wood ducks maybe. They'd sit down here quietly and something would swim by. It was so exciting. And my dad put up a duck house up high in one of the trees down here. That was many years ago now. And the ducks all came and lived in it. When they came back, they found all these little eggs on the ground outside of it. Eggshells, I should say. People used to ask me where I grew up, if I grew up in the country or in the city. But I grew up in the woods down here, so I think I grew up in the country. It was kind of an interesting place to live because on the other side of the house was the neighborhood and then there was the town, the city. It was all very close by. Nothing was more than five minutes away in, a, in the car, maybe ten. Now everything is much farther. I have to drive half an hour or more to get to anything. Except Mira. I think it was down here that I grew to love nature. The river is doing very well. It's certainly not low about as high as it was when I was growing up. Which is very good because the there have been droughts here for years in the summers. I remember coming down from Canada one year in Christmas and sitting down on my favorite tree and dipping my feet in the water. It was amazing that it was warm. Back home everything was frozen solid. It's interesting that even though it's Georgia and they don't have winter, like most of the country would have winter, they do have a spell that's cold enough that you don't go sit outside. And it's really not that nice for a few months. And then in the summer, you don't go outside for a few months then. So I wonder if there's six months of being inside down here like there is up home. It's not really six whole months. But you can still go outside in the winter at home. You can always go outside and enjoy it. Walk through the snow or snowshoe. But down here when it's too hot, you can't go outside. It's not it's 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 awful down and even inside it becomes too the sun comes through the windows and unless you have air conditioning, like without air conditioning, it's really un insufferable. It's just so hot and sticky all summer that you don't have, you don't even want a sheet on you. All the way up until the end of October, or the end of September anyway. So I don't think it's a lot better.
better to live in Georgia than it is to live in Canada. But for me, I could be outside all year down here and I could be outside all year up there. But it is nicer to sit outside and write when it's not cold. I just have to make excuses why it's okay to live in Canada. I love my Canada. We used to raft down the river in inner tubes, have lots of fun. In the summer we were in the river a lot and the snakes would be lying out over the trees. Sometimes you'd see a snake in the water. They never bothered us. Well, there's a little bit into my life. Bye.